to to offer within the community that they live. Chelsea Wallace, who is not only launching her own exciting pool venture, but is also deeply passionate about the game of pool in this community. Her new venture aims to celebrate the love of the game while inspiring more African Americans to dive into the world of pool. The reason why we started it and who really started Mo Player Pool Talk 101. I had this epiphany, man. I had this idea uh, some years back after coming into the spot, Mr. Q, too, man, that the action, uh, the comedy, man, uh, different characters within this establishment was uh, was quite uh, astonishing. And I thought maybe, man, it should be captivated. You know, and here we are right now trying to bring it to you guys uh, uh, live and direct. You know what I mean? The best way we know how. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Man, it, it was amazing because, you know, sometimes we have things in our mind that we want to do and it takes time for it to develop. But if you have something structured and you got a partner that say, hey, man, I'm with you, man. We're going to make this happen. Like, that was a blessing in disguise for me when you came to me. It was like, hey, man, let's do this. No doubt. So, so it was. I was overjoyed because I, I didn't have to do it by myself. When you got a team, a lot of things can flow a little bit better. And, and, not, and not only that, you know, man, we was talking, so, so, and then one of the things, too, that was on my mind was, is the tournament, and tournaments in, in, in general, how they run. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I've seen a few of these tournaments, we've seen several tournaments come and go. Mm -hmm. And my question used to be like, well, how do we get involved in creating a tournament? That's right. And bringing more of our people into the tournament and making it fair across the board so nobody feel alienated, you know what I mean? And so uh, that was the big the question, that, that, yeah. that was a challenge. And so, you know, after speaking around, because you never know who know who, you know, I didn't know uh, the people that one pocket know, you know, vice versa, and then yeah. we, we, we linked that together and started thinking about the opportunity of creating tournaments locally, big, small, uh, to cover them all, you know what I mean? And to invite one come one come all. Everybody that, that, that is enthusiastic about playing this game who can come and put that thing and compete. We gotta let the people know we for everybody. Um, no doubt. And, and I would win fairness. As both of us are coaches and love coaching, a lot of time the people that are in higher position uh, they have an agenda that's not beneficial to all players. Show sure you right. Sure you're right. So I, I, I believe me and you are aligned on that as far as making it fair for everybody. That's right. Uh, definitely changing the image of pool. Uh, pool has a dirty connotation to it, a dirty background, uh, a hustler's game. Uh, yeah. uh, we want to kind of put a little bit of paint on that and, and kind of clean it up with a little lights off. Yeah, because it's ironic that, that it's been labeled as a hustler's game, but yet the majority of the people that I know play the game are not hustlers, you yeah. know what I mean? We both uh, they just want to play it for one of the two reasons, for the fun of the game or to relieve some stress, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or, or both. And it's just simple as that. Uh, the game is a brilliant game, uh, and, it, and it should be, it should be uh, allowed for everyone that wants to play it to play it. And some people are intimidated about playing the game because it ain't easy, I'll tell you that. It's easy to roll balls around, but it ain't easy to make the shots when you want to make the shot. Mm -hmm. So here is a segment that we, I mean, well, this platform will allow you guys to come in as a beginner, as, as a regular Joe Blow, to be able to ask questions, chime in, and uh, one pocket of myself if we can, because we're not the best, we're not the greatest, we're not masters, but we understand the game and we love the game. So if you're trying to learn and you're trying to develop uh, skills in this game, if we can't show you, we've got direction to put you in, in the right place with people. And we know people from, from the low end to the high end in the game, from professionals to non-professionals. 
and we just want to open up that platform for everybody to have an opportunity to have some fun like we're doing, you know. What would it be like to make this something more than what it is and to allow the world to be able to experience this greatness that I experience every time I'm going in the dope, right. when I'm walking in the dope. That's right. So, and I started thinking about it, brainstorming. And then, uh, to, to make a long story short, I walked in the pool room one night, it was on my mind, and then I saw the one guy that I knew I was going to bring it to his attention about this. Stop me and say, man, I've been trying to do something like that for the longest, man. This is the kind of stuff I've been wanting to do, man. Let's link up. We're going to do it. Let's make it happen. And we dabbed on it. And uh, when we come back, it's your boy Tim, a.k.a. One Pocket. Mo Player Pool. Ah, this is Mo Player. <laughs> Mo Player. Go ahead. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah, yeah. Cut for now.